Cancer. A word that sends chills down the spine of millions. In today's world, cancer has become the second leading cause of death globally. According to the top 2024 cancer statistics, a little more than 2 million new cancer cases are expected in 2024, in addition to the 20 million cases reported last year. Furthermore, 611,720 Americans are expected to die from cancer in 2024. What's even more shocking is that nearly one-third of these deaths could be prevented with early detection and treatment. Early diagnosis is not just a medical advantage, it's a lifeline. Studies show that catching cancer in its earliest stages increases survival rates by a staggering 70 to 90 percent, depending on the type of cancer. Yet, many people miss the subtle, silent warnings their bodies give them. In this video, we'll uncover nine rarely known early warning signs that cancer might be growing in your body. These are signs that most people brush off as a cold, a passing ache, or just a minor sickness they believe will resolve in a few days. But ignoring them could mean ignoring your body's SOS. We'll highlight the science behind these signs and explain why it's crucial to act before it's too late. Knowing these signs could save your life or the life of someone you love. Without further ado, let's get started. Frequent mouth sores. Frequent mouth sores, especially if they don't heal after two weeks or keep reoccurring, can be an early warning sign of oral cancer. This happens because cancer cells disrupt the normal healing process. Persistent sores may also signal issues like a weakened immune system, which can be a result of cancer elsewhere in the body. Scientific studies have found that chronic irritation, such as from smoking or heavy alcohol use, can cause mutations in mouth tissues, leading to abnormal cell growth. The American Cancer Society highlights that non-healing sores in the mouth, along with other symptoms like lumps or white patches, should not be ignored. Long-lasting bloating. Long-lasting bloating can sometimes be an early warning sign of cancer, especially ovarian, colon, or stomach cancer. Normally, bloating is harmless and caused by things like overeating or certain foods, but persistent bloating that doesn't improve with diet changes or medication may point to something more serious. Here's the science. Cancers in the abdomen can cause inflammation, fluid buildup, called ascites, or blockages in the digestive system. This disrupts normal digestion and leads to constant bloating. For example, ovarian cancer often triggers the release of proteins and hormones that cause fluid retention. One 2015 study found that women with ovarian cancer often reported bloating as one of their first noticeable symptoms. What makes this tricky is that bloating is so common we don't always take it seriously. But if it's combined with other symptoms like sudden weight loss, changes in bowel habits, or feeling full quickly after small meals, it's a good idea to see a doctor. Before we continue, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to help us make more informative videos like this. Unexplained hoarseness or voice changes. Unexplained hoarseness or changes in your voice, especially if they persist for more than two weeks, could be an early warning sign of cancer, particularly in the throat, larynx, or lungs. This happens because tumors in these areas can press against or damage the vocal cords, causing your voice to sound raspy, weak, or strained. Scientifically, hoarseness often results from inflammation or interference in the vocal cords. In cases of cancer, studies have shown that laryngeal and lung cancers can impact nerves and tissues responsible for producing sound. For example, the American Cancer Society highlights that persistent voice changes are a red flag for laryngeal cancer, as the tumor may restrict vocal cord movement or airflow. 4. Fingernails Mark Fingernail changes, such as unusual discoloration, thickening, or the appearance of a dark streak, can sometimes signal early cancer, particularly subungual melanoma, a rare but serious form of skin cancer under the nail. This condition often begins subtly, with a vertical dark line called melanonychia striata that appears suddenly and evolves over time. Unlike common nail injuries, cancerous streaks tend to be wider, over 3 mm, have uneven colors, or blurred edges. Another critical sign is Hutchinson's sign, where the pigmentation spreads beyond the nail onto the surrounding skin. Research highlights that these changes often go unnoticed or are mistaken for fungal infections or bruising, delaying crucial diagnosis. 5. Persistent flu-like symptoms. Persistent flu-like symptoms, such as fever, fatigue, and body aches, can sometimes signal an underlying issue like cancer. 
While these symptoms are often linked to infections, they can also be caused by cancers like leukemia, lymphoma, or other cancers that affect the immune system. When cancer cells grow, they can release substances that cause inflammation or trigger an immune response, leading to fever or fatigue that doesn't go away. Studies have shown that certain cancers, especially blood cancers, often present with prolonged fevers or unexplained tiredness before any other obvious symptoms appear. For instance, research from the American Cancer Society suggests that persistent low-grade fever or extreme fatigue is common in people with lymphoma or leukemia. Think of it like your body being in a constant state of fighting off an infection even when there's no illness to fight. If flu-like symptoms last longer than usual or don't improve with rest, it's important to see a doctor for further evaluation, as early cancer detection can significantly improve outcomes. 6. Persistent itching Have you ever experienced persistent itching that doesn't go away, even with lotion or antihistamines? While itching is often just a skin irritation, it can sometimes be an early warning sign of cancer, especially if it's constant and unexplained. In some cancers, like lymphoma or leukemia, the immune system is affected, leading to chronic itching, known as pruritus. This happens because the body releases chemicals like histamines, which can cause intense itching. In other cases, cancers that affect the liver, pancreas, or bile ducts can block the normal flow of bile, leading to a buildup of substances in the body that trigger itching. Studies, like those from the American Cancer Society, show that unexplained itching, especially when it's severe and persistent, can sometimes signal an underlying condition like cancer. It's your body's way of signaling something might be off. If the itching lasts for weeks and no other explanation seems to fit, it's a good idea to consult a doctor for further evaluation. Early detection of cancer can significantly improve treatment outcomes. 7. Persistent Heartburn while heartburn is mostly associated with acid reflux or indigestion, persistent heartburn can sometimes be a red flag for something more serious, like cancer. In particular, it could signal esophageal cancer, especially if the heartburn doesn't improve with over-the-counter treatments or lifestyle changes. Here's why chronic acid reflux or gastroesophageal reflux disease causes stomach acids to repeatedly flow back into the esophagus. Over time, this acid can damage the lining of the esophagus, leading to a condition called Barrett's esophagus. Studies show that this condition can increase the risk of developing esophageal cancer, as the normal tissue is replaced by abnormal cells that are more prone to becoming cancerous. In fact, research indicates that people with long-term GERD have a higher likelihood of developing esophageal cancer, with some studies showing a nearly 20-fold increased risk. It's important to note that heartburn on its own isn't a definitive sign of cancer, but if it's persistent, severe, or accompanied by difficulty swallowing, weight loss, or a chronic cough, it's worth discussing with a doctor to rule out serious conditions. 8. Mysterious Pain Pain is like your body's built-in alarm system, telling you when something isn't quite right. Whether it's the sharp pain from a broken bone or the dull ache in your back after heavy lifting, pain serves a purpose. It grabs your attention and tells you to take care of yourself. But sometimes, pain lingers without an obvious cause. You haven't done anything strenuous, yet there's that nagging discomfort that won't go away. When pain doesn't fade, it's time to see a doctor. Persistent pain can sometimes be a sign of cancer, and here's how. Pressure from tumors. As cancer grows, it can press against nearby bones, nerves, or organs causing a constant ache that disrupts normal activities. Chemical release. Some cancer cells release chemicals that trigger pain signals, making the surrounding area feel sore and sensitive. Metastasis. When cancer spreads to other parts of the body, it can create new areas of pain and make managing discomfort more challenging. Pain intensity varies depending on the type of cancer, how far it has spread, your health, and pain tolerance. Studies show that advanced cancer often causes more pain, but everyone experiences it differently. If something feels off, don't ignore it. Trust your instincts and get checked out. 9. Changes in bowel habits Changes in bowel movements, like persistent diarrhea, constipation, or a noticeable change in stool size or shape, can sometimes be an early warning sign of cancer, particularly colorectal cancer. Here's why. Cancer can affect the digestive system by blocking the intestines, slowing down bowel movements, or interfering with how the body absorbs nutrients. 
When tumors grow in or around the colon, they can partially or fully block the digestive tract, leading to changes in bowel patterns. For example, a tumor might cause stools to become thinner or more irregular, a sign that something is disrupting the usual flow. Studies show that persistent changes in bowel habits, like alternating between diarrhea and constipation or experiencing unexplained, long-term bloating, may be linked to colon or rectal cancer. Cancer cells can also affect the way the intestines move, either speeding up or slowing down digestion. If these changes last for several weeks without a clear reason, it's important to get checked out to rule out cancer. Keep in mind that early detection can significantly improve cancer treatment outcomes. While these signs don't necessarily mean you have cancer, they should be taken seriously and evaluated by a doctor. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it with others who might benefit. And be sure to subscribe to our channel for more valuable health tips.